Welcome back, um, YouTube, to another continuation of I'm 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 I got so used to saying this as like the following episode of a game I'm already playing. I'm sorry. Welcome back to, I guess, uh, my select game nights. This, this music is very calming. Um, which, is, if you don't know, um, I, I stream live on Twitch and Mixer. And uh, some nights, it's usually Saturdays, but now I'm mixing it up, doing whatever days I can. Um, I pick a game to play from beginning to end until I beat it, and then move on to the next game. That's what I categorize as select games. Um, and uh, this is one of those games. This is Life is Strange. Um, now, a couple things. First of all, if you are watching live, um, I don't think anybody is here right now, but um, I apologize for Wisebot. I thought I removed Wisebot a long time ago, like a year ago, and it just somehow started popping up on my channel again. So apparently it's that's a thing. I'm gonna have to fix that later, but don't care enough to do it right now. Um, secondly, um, what was my second point? Well, oh, I'm starting very late at night right now, so I tried to stream earlier, and right now, um, this is kind of the normal. Um, I, I usually can start streaming very late at night. I try to do it as earliest as I can. Right now, it's midnight where I am, so this kind of sucks for viewer engagement. Nobody's really awake and wants to participate in chat, um, but you know what? I kind of roll with it, even if I'm streaming late at night. I try to make it a commitment to stream at least twice a week, usually Friday and Saturday nights. Um, so this is my thing. So even if it's a short stream, which most likely it will be, because it is midnight, um, so I'm probably only going go through going to go through one of these episodes tonight. Um, but I I do archive it on YouTube. I save it as a playlist. So if you do miss it because it's too late, um, you can watch it later um, from beginning to end as I play it. Um, and in order to determine the next game, if you do show up to a live stream, you have the opportunity to vote on my next game. I haven't really made the poll for that, but I can do it right now because this is... Yeah, I can set it up right now. Uh, next, select game um, after life is strange. Oops. Still getting used to my new keyboard. Alright, so start poll. So, you have the opportunity to vote on um, my next game. The options are Transistor, Doom, or Hellblade. Um, so, one of those three games I will play next after Life is Strange. So, here's how it works. You can vote once uh, per stream. So, I reset the poll every stream. Um, or, if you have enough tokens, which are like chat currency that you earn by watching one minute uh, every one minute of my stream live um, so every one minute you get a token if you're in enough tokens you can spend that towards additional votes in the poll um, or if there's a lot of people watching the stream everybody's already placed their votes you can use those tokens to reset the poll and everybody has another chance to vote um, so collectively after every stream I collect all the votes that a game has gotten and right before I'm about to start the stream I tally up which votes for a game has the most and I choose that game. So this is Life is Strange. Life is Strange got the most votes the last time when I was playing Wolfenstein. Let's see Wolfenstein. I have the whole playlist done there. Um, so one of these games I'm going to be playing next. Transistor, Doom, or Hellblade. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to open up the game. Now, this is my first time playing. I don't want to say it's a blind playthrough because I've watched so many people stream this game. I kind of have a good sense of what's going on, what the story is. Um, I think, anyway. I haven't really watched from beginning to end from a stream. Um, I will say, yeah, that seems fine. Um, I will say that this is not my kind of game. Like the um, Walking Dead style, choose your own. Like, um, story. Yeah, maybe I should move my webcam. Or it's a little bit easier to... 
Hopefully that's not in the way. I might have to move it around. Much more. Wow, that game volume is super loud. Try to lower it based on my voice. I'll get rid of my webcam. It's gonna be starting, isn't it? Alright. Oh my god. I complain about this every single game. I play inverted. And I so miss the option in the Xbox 360 to automatically convert every game you play to inverted. So you don't have to do that. I don't know why they got rid of it in Xbox One. It was such a such an important feature I didn't realize I needed. They'll uh, totally change that. Can I run? Yeah, so right triggers run. By the way, I only have the, this first game. I don't have the Before the Storm prequel, which I was told to play first, but this is the game I have. Holy shit. How is she not, like, sucked into that thing right now? Look it. So surreal. Famously called film little pieces of time, but he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Room. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Hmm? Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally okay, haunted okay. by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw I can't believe torture, I still have right? this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And any one of you could I do, do that love my me. analog camera. Take selfie. I should take a quick picture now. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I don't know if I'm going to dive too deep into the story, but there you go. I'll uh If you want to if you want to read that for yourself. Uh, my thing with like if I was playing just for myself not for not for a video um, I usually get sucked into a game and try to go through as much um, Like uh, backstory and everything as possible um, But for this I want to try to get through is I have a huge backlog of games I want to try to get through as much as I can so I try to skip through side things that I don't need to do and just go through the story so this is, I'm guessing you can replay certain missions. Uh, these are different characters in the game. Or maybe this is one. I don't, I don't fully know what this is. The map. Contacts. So is it my birthday? Oh wait, wait, when was that? So September 21st, and there's no time on the phone. I don't get the context. This was uh, four days later. Hmm. 
Oh, and this is October, October 10th. What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a- Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a <laughs> A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Oh, this kid, look now, how bored he is. <laughs> since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? No idea. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Oh, shit. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. So this is the game's the bitch. The process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular oh. from the 1800s onward. The first oh, American bag. daguerreotype self-portrait was My done by My little camera Robert. bag is battered, but still kicking. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. A computer with Photoshop. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. Yes, Stella and Alyssa. Entry too. And yes, Max. I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> okay. I already don't like the one character. Victoria doesn't waste us. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? Did she, though? And people laughed. Did she make fun of you? Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive, everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. What is this? What's wrong, Kate? Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. Hmm. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I only want to share whatever gift I have with the world. Yeah. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Does sure. she have a... Is she wearing a cross? Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. Let's do it. Let's print out pictures. When I don't suck. Someday. I'm going to come back to that printer later. Wait. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Yet you didn't know the answer to the question. I'm just saying. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? The 
Rachel Amber forever. Oh yeah, photo evidence. I don't know when I'm gonna need that, but <gasps> oh, catch it! Wouldn't have read this. Purge. Take optional photo number one. Oh, sweet! Gotta take optional photos. I'm guessing in each episode. Dear Kate, we love your. Oh my God. That's awful. Can I, uh, can I pick this up and toss it? Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Oh, the lighthouse. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But, I, man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. I was never, I was never on uh, Team Plasma. Wait, that's a Pokemon reference. What I meant to say is I knew Plasma TVs would die out, which they have. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. Yeah, you bitch. Like one of photography's future stars <laughs> God damn. Handing in her picture. Um. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. Cool. So, I guess there's only one way to go. Oh shit, a poster. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 Mid minutes of infamy. Submit an image that best represents yourself or others in heroic action. October 9th. Oh, I think that's past. No, wait. October 3rd was the most recent date on the thing? The winner will fly to San Francisco and represent their school in the National Everyday Heroes Competition at the Zeitgeist Gallery on October 11th, 2013. I feel like I should be writing down dates or something. Me. Uh, submit one image or proof paper of consideration. Those 18 and under apparent permission must be okay. Blah, blah, blah. No real important details there other than dates. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Like you you always Welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Yeah. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with Oh yeah. That's that's totally me. With the headphones on. Ignore the fucking world. Episode one. So a reminder, I probably won't go through the entire game today. Evan doesn't say much to me, but um, his photos are very cool. I'll probably just do the first episode tonight. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Texting people over the internet. Oh shit, someone's missing. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. 
Idiot Bay. What's her name? Oh, Rachel Amber. Oh, that's the po the picture. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Yeah, give blood. What's up, Taylor? There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. How's it like a click going on? Science room. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. I wish I I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Smoke. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. That's Dana yeah. talking I'm to... Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must... Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Oh my god, I gotta remember so many people. Okay, can I stop this? I don't like this. I hate bully jock straps like Logan. Okay. And he's a Vortex Club member. Tell him, tell him to fuck off. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Do it, beat the shit out of Logan. Where's this girl going? Who are you? Stop it. And she's gone. I go this way. Nope, apparently not. Invisible walls. Halloween party. I wish October would last forever. Clearly in October. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. Okay. As if I am. I'm changing to alter the Oregon coastline, including fish and fauna. This has helped decimate the state's fishing industry, especially in Arcadia Bay. Raise your voice against pollution, Saber. Another one? I wonder what actually happened to her. Good thing I left my AK at home. Yep. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. That, that was the guy that was bored in class, right? Wait, never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. To all of you, it looks like she's been gone for months. April 22nd. No one can tell where your heart is. Oh, there's the bathroom. Hold on. Let me, uh. There's right. Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. How many are there? Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Playing chess team. Another missing person. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Yay, Halloween. My favorite time of year. The Bigfoot stop. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. How many students 
students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. Yeah, I'm not gonna memorize everything here either. The main campus, the lighthouse. Yo, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Uh, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Another missing Percy. Person trophy. Blackwell sure takes it swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go on. Look <laughs> at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those big foots. They do stomp. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the board. Oh my god, I can swim like an otter. Tablet for sale. Oh shit. Means five gigabytes of cat pics. What? <laughs> what? Alright, where was, uh... Where was the bathroom? Men's room. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Oh, there's gonna be somebody in here. Now, who would bother to write that crap? Um, erase it. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Yeah. I'm good to flow. Thanks. This poster must drive people to have sex. <sighs> oh shit, can I ring the fire? I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Okay, what do I do? Huh? Huh. What do I do? Oh, mirror. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? She looks like she hasn't slept in a while. Her eyes. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Am I supposed to always select look before I do something? Cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? 
Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh, shit. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. Oh, I'm gonna have to remember what he said. Kate is being hassled again. Fuck. <laughs> and if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, oh, shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the... I'm supposed to... I got gotcha. you. Let's unshatter that camera. I did it. Can you give I me actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Hi, freak yeah, out. Yeah. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and When children. I took my selfie, Jefferson you asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does Everybody again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. First. I need to go to the bathroom Long quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. <laughs> but you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Notice after class. And I need time to save that girl. Hats. A process okay. to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Can I rewind or? Totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Out detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular. For okay, so I can rewind faster. Well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <laughs> the Daguerrean process yeah, take that, bitch. Hugely popular. I know shit. Gave the subjects fucking golden pictures. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of Evan. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor. Fucking Stella hide. and Alyssa, Still man. For your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. 
I am Iron Man. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. Can I bother speaking now? So Hold on, I'm gonna take that photo evidence like still. Oh shit, I can't. Why is this happening? And to me. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, <laughs> can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Do. Why? Why do I want to do that? Really think everyday heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. Yeah, <laughs> that's I think why. John okay. Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. All right. I am the teacher's fucking pet. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please. You got this. Please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. I mean, you might be crazy. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Am I doing the exact same shit? Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? I'm gonna what make a doing? noise with this shit. Come on, put that Ever thing down! Tell me what to do! I'm so I need a hammer to break it open. To control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than yeah. drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, oh shit. Shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. Is this not fast enough? You are going to get in hella more trouble for this Where's the hammer? Drugs. Nobody would ever even missed your punk ass yeah today. no way don't yeah touch me again freak oh now he knows i'm in here shitty day that did not happen this cannot be real i just saw a girl get shot and then saved her what the fuck is going on do not Freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse what? for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, oh, this Mr. guy Madsen. can fuck off. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. I'm gonna try to get that guy fired. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. 
Oh man, what's the right decision here? I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. Oh shit. You sure? Yes, he was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. I feel like I made the wrong decision. Like okay, slow down, slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. And yeah. one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. Fuck. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Oh, I can't rewind. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's... Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Yeah. Should I rewind and change my story? Should I? Don't be able to undo your choices after leaving this area. <laughs> rewind! Change the story! You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max... Oh my god. Talk to me. That's creepy. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. Oh my you god. trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. Oh my god. I don't think your parents will tone when they find out. Now get drastically. Outside, class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Um, no. No. I'm gonna stick with that. Which way am I going? This way? I'm gonna stick with that. That's the thing, like the, like the dude's parents own the school and everything. So can't make an accusation without proof. Where am I going? Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Yeah. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Um. Oh shit, no. I don't know if I should tell her. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace. 
Not fear and violence. Yeah, I know I know the argument. Like the camera could camera could have saved it no, it wouldn't have. But I I can never say yeah, you need cameras in the bathroom. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Yep. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. I mean, personally, I would do the same thing. <laughs> what? What? Uh, I'm asking you my flashlight. Hello. Okay, cool. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Or talk to more characters. Who are you? Oh, you're not important. What's up, Stella? Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Um. He's aloof. He's aloof. He seems like he's always above you. Not like a snob, but like you don't know what's in his head. Maybe. Mr. Jefferson just has his own style. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Oh shit. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. With the teacher? So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. And who are you listening in those conversations? That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. That doesn't do it for everything. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I um ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. Hmm. What kind of sketch? I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Oh, that's a good question. That's when I get a USB drive. <laughs> good. Good. Oh shit, there's a drone. Best that's, portrait ever. That's pretty good.
Action of consequences? <gasps> What's that mean? Yo, Justin. Check out the mats. Come to thrash? Oh, yeah? Bring it. Oh, shit. What's your first move gonna be? Uh, jump? You're such a poser. <laughs> you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip. You should walk on. Rewind. Rewind. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? <laughs> I came to nose slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? I'd love to see a nose slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Hey. You never really escape Betty. <laughs> Not really. Too bad. It's nice to have the females on board too. Rachel, Amber, and her punk friends love skating with us. You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes. One day she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. And if anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, oh, shit. hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. Yeah, there's a drone going around. So where's this USB drive I'm supposed to get? Uh, da -da. Right here. Are there any late insane day? Two in the lot looking. in the lot how big is this place I yeah. don't want to go that way oh, okay it's not going that way I could go for a burger now I've never seen so many missing persons posters for the same person Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? I don't know this. Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images, but you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Let's try that again. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. Uh, Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're... Robert Kappa, of course. 
I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. All right, let's read. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Everybody knew Rachel Amber. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. You were close. Like brother and sister in arms, she understood me, never judged me. I hated her vortex club click, but she never acted like she cared. Her friends were her friends. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Hmm. Dang. This guy. Clever. Vortex club sucks. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. Somebody needs to take that prick down. He'll take himself down. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you yeah. people. <laughs> I like that guy. Uh, you know anything about Rachel Amber? Let's talk later, okay, Max? All right. That football. Mm hmm. Time post. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. All right, this is where to go. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Dude. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Oh. Hi, Max. Let's make some friends. Yeah. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Mm. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, Logan Robertson. All-American asshole. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Right. Awesome. Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a football. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Kate. Glad to see our campus is eco friendly. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there nice, anything. Bro. Max, I'd like to be alone if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Oh. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. It's sad. Nice, bro. Mm. Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. And he's not creepy, just X-Files weird. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. <laughs> oh yeah, that is creepy. <laughs> What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? But only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. Sweet. It just makes the campus look sad. 
You can't color over that sunlight. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prism? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward, like a clock. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery, positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. <laughs> Oh, here's the click. The Vortex Club. Oh, shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Dude. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Oh. The Daguerrean oh. processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Um, or oh, I can slap Hold you across the face and walk right by you. So yeah. original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Oh yeah. Keep walking, right. hippie. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Uh, I can't remember how this goes. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Ow. Oh, shit. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. No. How do you use that? This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Yeah, but how do you use it? Well, let me use it. Sprinkler valve. No. There's only one way around this. I can only look at this it. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Not though. I don't give an. I don't get an option to. Oh, there we go. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Awesome. Yeah. Water on my cashmere? Do you know how much this fucking yeah. outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Nice, bro. Okay, let's see if this works. <laughs> you okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Oh, 
Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Mm -hmm. Dude. What uh, happened? Hey, Victoria. What get some paint in, on you. Oh, I'm definitely making fun of her. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. <laughs> And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. Yeah. So does Nathan. Make your threats. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Nope. I definitely should have done that. No. She deserved it. <laughs> don't get, I don't care. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. What's in there? As if. Juliet, extreme reporter. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. More missing persons. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Pull the fire alarm again. Healer on campus. Observe the following tips for your safety. Always be aware of your location. Always let a friend know where you are or where you're going. Always report any incidents immediately to the campus authorities. Download a free. <laughs> Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Thanks for the warning. Uh, so that's production. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Little bang for Jesus. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. I feel like this is just all like useless garbage. If, I, I'm not sure if anything's gonna be useful down the line. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, oh, I knew shit. we were... And your principal sent me an email saying that he is concerned about your attitude. Be oh my god, what a fuck. Bonded forever. I've unlimited photos. Oh shit. Another one. Oh, I missed the skateboard. Yet. Go back and take to the skateboard. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Turn off. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music and... Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find... 
Cartier-Bresson, Bruneau, Hamilton, the greatest. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great man. Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. I mean, you can rewind time. But cooler. I look so pathetic. Was this her Facebook? Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates oh, me yeah. just because it's take, me. Take the thing. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. <laughs> Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. I'm just from wild uh, goose shapes. Oh shit! So I did something important there. Not even realizing it. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. There's a lot of shit to look at. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. You play guitar? the same song that's playing okay I don't think there's anything else for me here I should look at what those pictures are that I need to take where are they Shit, where are they Oh my god, like posters I'm looking at show up here. Oh, here we go. So there's this, oh shit, there's a lot. There's a skateboard, guy looking at something, squirrel with a can. Oh, sorry, I'm really tired. It's, it's quarter after one. Um. There's a photo wall there, it looks like. Walk back in and look at it. out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Oh, that's Dana's room. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. How are you doing? Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. <laughs> what did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. Nice to see you name? too. Oh, shit. What was it? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. 
Okay, rewind. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. <laughs> Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. Hmm. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Oh yeah, we're definitely fucking with uh, Victoria. Where's Victoria's room? Gonna make Victoria's life a living hell. There we go. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Hmm. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just, is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? <laughs> Maybe I will join her posse. Damn. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, Victoria has the best retina Hello. screen laptop. Hello, Lacey. Let me just check to see if she posted my picture. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom, this is the email I need to show Juliet. Mm. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Print it. Or print it. Email. I'm gonna get caught. I'm better than get caught. Where's the? Oh, here it is. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I'm gonna embarrass myself, but you gotta move on. What do you mean you embarrassed yourself? All right. Here's why you don't Juliet, trust Victoria. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. Go and take I hope down so. the Vortex Club. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. All right, grab this. Thing. Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Flash drive. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Yeah, Victoria's Victoria not nice. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. How many people Though, are in the Vortex Club? With you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. 
When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Okay. Um, what am I doing with this? Am I plugging in my computer? I have a feeling this wall, I'm supposed to take a picture of this wall. Hey, Courtney, what's going on? Flash drive. I better make sure everything is still in there. Oh, take it self? I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. How do you take a selfie here? Good luck. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Because that's like one of the achievements, right? In the mirror. Oh no, I already did that. I did take a selfie in the mirror. But I was looking at. Where is it? The, is this one? No, this one. So that, the picture on the, like, there-ish. I don't care if you backseat. Don't, don't like, don't like heavily backseat. But like, if I get stuck, go ahead. You know achievements I should get. Then, you know, find it out. I already missed two. Yeah, I know. I missed the skateboard and what was the other one? And was it the squirrel? Squirrel? No. Maybe on my next playthrough. What? What do you want? Why don't you rearrange photos and then take a photo? Oh. All right, what am I doing with this thing? Where am I going? Um. Uh, I don't mind. Always help the girl with the purple hair. Got it. Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Yeah, how do you rearrange photos? I hope you enjoyed the pic. It your last one, what? Um. Oh, that's Victoria. I don't give a shit about Victoria. I'm in a room. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Oh, this guy's a jerk. Where's the parking lot? Main building. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord. <laughs> you hipster. My dorm? That's the parking... How do you talk to Parking lot's not this way, is it? Yeah, go to parking lot. Take a pick. So oh my god. I I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? Can I go back? Oh, and leave me alone. Oh, take a photo here, you mean? I'm going to intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey. Nobody is bullying <laughs> anybody. I'm doing my job. It's fine. No, you're not. It's fine. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Yeah, you remember it. Oh, Max. That was great. 
I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. Where are you going? It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Can you actually save her? Because I think every time I've seen people play this game, she ends up dying. David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind uh, and mind my own business? Nope. Nope. Okay, where's the window? Take a picture of this window. Oh, no. There's a certain way. Oh. Like, specific path you need to take. Alright, we got the window. I'm paying attention. I like the new sounds for the Xbox. Her dad. Okay. I shouldn't read the hints out loud for for my um video. Is a squirrel here? I need to find the squirrel. <laughs> my mission now. I'll be like, there's a squirrel! He's right there! <laughs> uh, I'll be honest, it's not my kind of game, but... Yeah, I miss this squirrel. I'm glad I stepped in that time. I can't stand to see people being bullied. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. There's so many squirrels. Can I pick, take a picture of any squirrel? Or does it have to be a specific squirrel? Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. My mission in this game is just to piss off Victoria as much as possible. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Alright. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, it's an it's an important game for sure. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in New York. Wow, that's that's a lot of life is strange for you. Long time, Warren. But then so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I what? took a sweet shot of yeah. Victoria. I can't wait to share. <laughs> oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel sketch you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Um, what did he say? It wasn't with us. I can't read and listen at the same time. You know, post it on my draw. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on I there. don't think you I actually did. The Wait. Twilight Zone? Which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Okay. <laughs> I really don't know some of these choices. Um seen it 
I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Okay, so it's a quote, how so? It's a quote. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Oh, I thought it was like a quote from a movie or something. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Um. Okay. I need to talk to somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Oh You're shit, one of the this guy. Photo groupies. I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw now. Answer me, bitch. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Mm. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Oh, shit. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom. No. <gasps> uh, it's gonna happen. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go, go, I got yeah. You. Get in, Max. Get your punk asses out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> this shit was crazy. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. I read a girl's Tumblr who After played five this. Years, still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Yeah, I can oh, see that. Thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. Also, Where you read people's off? tumblers? <laughs> oh, I'm not paying attention. What'd she ask? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt, and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. <laughs> you came back for Blackwell Academy. Um. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. Okay, so, so she says it either, either way. <laughs> Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Um. Sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. 
You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. So, what I got from talking with one character is that all the students want to bang Mr. Jefferson. Broken. Man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload <laughs> of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage, and he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. When do you think you're going to make a movie on this game? It's going to happen, right? Or a TV show. Come on in. Don't be I can see that happening. The house still looks like a Netflix show nice. or something. Home, shit, home. different than the last time you saw it it's cool at least we can chill out this isn't exactly my chill out zone my step fear makes sure of that come in and close the door put on some music while I medicate all right where's uh it won't play without any power oh okay where's the power Asterisk. <laughs> Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. Oh my god, get Spotify! There's a disc. There is a disc. Is it in a trash can? I see a disc going here. We had such a blast drawing these together. Um, the hell's the disc? Turn on the radio. Chloe hey, Lacey, thanks for following. She does love trouble. I'm blind? Where is it? Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. I started just checking drawers. What'd you make a clip of? Oh god. Is it me saying get Spotify? <laughs> Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Watch it. Oh my god. Hold on. I gotta I don't wanna put the audio on. Shit, this is gonna open up in All right. <laughs> That's a good clip. All right. Um <laughs> Chloe 
Chloe was always taller than me. He made Game dates itself, to yeah. Play. For sure. Where the fuck is your CDs? Search. I think this junk swallowed her discs. There we go. So it's not there? She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. Um, so it's not in the mess. It's not in the trash bin. There we go. Found the CD. Oh shit. It's the missing girl. Hey, give me that. Sorry. I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. So, who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my angel after my dad died and you moved i felt abandoned rachel saved my life i'm guessing Man, she was in the idea. prequel well you never made much effort to find out i was 14 we were best friends i never forgot even if i was an asshole and didn't keep in touch but you had rachel rachel had my back we were gonna kick the world's ass you would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel <laughs> the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia without a word, without me. Suspicious. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deducted. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Alright. Yeah, I mean, I'll play it eventually. It's just I, I own this game, so I might as well play it. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Alright. Is there anything else important in here? Like pictures I should take. I shouldn't bug Chloe now. Plus I need those tools. Start searching through all this shit. It's like dirty laundry. Gross. She's not concerned that I'm oh shit. Oh no! What did I do? Damn. Chloe was kicked out of uh, two years ago. Too, she used to be a great student. To take as the lighthouse. But not here. Rewind. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Rewind! Don't break shit. What? What happened? Goodbye, Richard, you may never 
Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. I'm guessing there's like nothing else truly important in this room though. So, I'm gonna go into the garage. Uh, garage will be downstairs. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Somewhere. Oh. What is this? I think my game's frozen. Um. Need a good Samaritan. Kitchen. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like I should be able to find the tools I need here. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Okay. This action will consequences? Why? What did I do? Close this door. How's that gonna screw me over after? Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. No shit. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. You can look and file and such, but you can also clear your foot tracks. Look and file and such, but you can also clear your foot tracks. Gun rack. I'm gonna start touching shit that will get me in trouble with this after. Nothing. This is so lame. It's like enough spam for a hundred years. Guys, creating like a shelter. All right, so the tiny tools are not here, as far as I can tell. Use this computer. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Uh, sure, you can give me a hint. Anywhere unless they're in the gun rack. Washer. The washer. In the. Oh, right here. Oh. Boom! Precision screwdrivers. You should Except explore. I can't reach them. If there's anything you want me to look at, I can do that. But. My, my goal is to try to get through the game as quickly as I can because I got a huge backlog I want to get through. That was very smart, dumbass. Rewind to fix the reach. files. What what did I what files did I fuck up? These ones in the cover? Man, I should have done that before they fell. Oh, I haven't found them yet. Okay. I'll get the tools. Let's see. The tools are stuck, 
out of reach and no way in hell to get them. Brilliant, Max. Brilliant. Oh, I should have done that before they fell. Okay. Wait, so... Wait. Okay, I'm a little confused. We go back more. Okay. Push. <laughs> Files. <laughs> There we go. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. Okay. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. <laughs> Hype. Hype for the files. How far into the the first thing am I? Um. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> nice framing, too. Wait. I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. You recognize oh, yeah. the butterfly. I wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money. Drugs. But that's it. Now for the big question. Did you, are you <laughs> I can't... Can't tell in talk context if you're actually going to bed, but if you are, okay. Have a good night. And thank you. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna end it after this episode, so I have no clue how far into it I am. Um, what was she asking? I wanted to. What if he goes on some rampage? Nathan fronts like a thug, but Close he's a spoiled okay. punk ass biatch. He would have shot you, Chloe. That's a fact. I should tell the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I'm, I'm happy with my decisions in that regard. Know it was your birthday last month. Okay. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. 
That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that phony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> Is this one of the pictures? This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. Dude, the music's not even on! Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he oh, finds man. you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. In the closet, obviously, Chloe, right? I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Oh, shit. Get smart. Just let me in. Yeah, let's rewind that. <laughs> Chloe, their I'm bed. Coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me I'm a minute. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? Where the fuck else do you hide? Please. One this is going nowhere fast. I better look someplace else. Oh, I gotta move the lamp first. Open this door. Yeah, I got it. I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. One. Two, three. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. Combat. <laughs> One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do not believe in gun control? Wait. Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Um, I'm gonna stay hidden. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother, and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Oh, shit. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real stuff douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hickhole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to that decision. Can you go already? I want to get the hell out of here. All right. Here's the lighthouse. So there's two pictures here I should take. There's a blue jay. What about that deer? I 
I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? It's a oh. storm. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. All right, so where's this uh, blue jay? Where's Chloe? There's a squirrel. Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me, stare contest. I, I lost the squirrel. Uh, on a rock. Man, I should have helped Chloe. I feel so bad. Turn around before going up. What do you want, Warren? Um, turn around before going up. So, right here? There'll be a large rock with a bird. Oh, well, there's a log here. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Go downhill. Oh, like over here. Oh. Board in a bottle. Rock. That old fence is part of the landscape. Might now. have to rewind. The path behind it leads to the parking lot. Okay. Oh, right here. Got it. I got you. All oh, right. Thank you for that. And then Chloe from behind. All right. So do I talk to Chloe first? You sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. So I should have, have walked out of the fucking closet. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. Depends. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Hmm? What files? David stashes his secret X files in there. I saw them once, but he secures them now. He kind of creeps me out. I bet the truth is out there in his files. Most likely, but it's good you didn't find his files. He would go ballistic. He's a total surveillance fetish. Or are there spy cams in the house? Sometimes the files that were on the Chris. floor? No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. 
and he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. Hmm. Not sure. So one thing to keep in mind is knowing who can help you out in the end. Okay. Um... So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum-rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcady Bay. She's standing right next class. to her. Oh fuck. Why is this happening to me? Why am I here again? Got my spirit deer. Lead the way, spirit deer. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, so don't take that path. Ah, fuck. Do I need to go back farther. Newspaper? October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh no. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, 
You're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years, which is so. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? <laughs> Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. Hello. Oh, <laughs> climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Didn't see where this goes. This is a good song. Oh, my God. She is the worst person. Is it? All right. That was episode one. It is a quarter after two a.m. I am really tired, so I'm gonna end the stream. There's not, there's no like end credits kind of thing, right? Get some sleep. Yes. Um. So I will. I plan to stream tomorrow night. I don't know what I'm playing yet. Um. I'm gonna try to do something multiplayer with uh, some people but if that doesn't happen I might continue this game um, if not uh, we'll continue it next weekend I gotta be very careful when I say because I have like plans coming up over like the next little while on certain weekends so uh, the plan is if I don't play this again tomorrow it'll be next weekend either Friday Friday or Saturday my usual stream nights um and uh yeah so just uh make sure you follow if you're following me on twitch or mixer um you can also follow me on twitter and instagram or discord it's when you can get notifications of when i go live um uh this is for people watching on youtube um and yeah so this will be up as a full playlist when everything's done or whenever i release new episodes so you can watch it from beginning to end and remember if you want to catch this stream live uh, you earn tokens for every minute you watch live you earn one token you can spend those tokens to vote on which game i play next i'm gonna end the poll right now 
Um, so the choices are Transistor, Doom, or Hellblade. Those are one of the three games I will be playing after I beat Life is Strange. You can choose what game I'll play next in this series. Um, that's it for me for now. I am going to bed. Thanks, uh, everyone who's watching on Twitch. I'm going to let my auto host take over as soon as I'm done. Uh, for uh, those watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.